A standard form for the position of a mass oscillating on a spring is A cosine omega t plus phi. Comparing with the equation we're given, we can see that this is the amplitude, this is omega, the angular frequency, and this, including the negative sign, is the phase constant phi. Part A asks us for the oscillations period. That's 2 pi over omega, which is 2 pi over 4.16 radians per second, and it equals 1.51 seconds. Part B asks for the spring's force constant. We know that omega, the angular frequency, is square root of k over m. k is the force constant, so we can solve for it and substitute the values, calculating to find that the spring constant is 26 newtons per meter. Part C asks for the mass's maximum speed. The mass's velocity is the derivative of its position, so that equals minus a omega sine omega t plus phi, where this quantity is the maximum speed, a times omega. Calculate that to see that it equals 30.8 centimeters per second, or 0 0.308 meters per second. Now let me record these results up here, so we can erase this part and have room to solve parts D and E. Part D asks for the maximum force exerted by the spring on the mass. That's the magnitude of minus kx, where x takes its maximum value. That's the amplitude. So we get k times the amplitude and calculate to find that it equals 1.92 newtons. Part E asks for us to solve many things and several of them involve the phase, omega t plus little phi, of the oscillation. So it's useful to calculate this value once, so we'll have it on hand whenever we need it. The phase, capital phi at one second, is omega times the time one second, minus 2.42, and that equals 1.74 radians. The position at one second, then, is a times cosine of the phase, omega t plus phi, at one second, and we calculate to find that it equals minus 1.25 centimeters. The radians on that phase reminds us to have our calculator in radian mode. The velocity is the derivative of the position, that's minus a omega sine of the same phase. So substituting values where a omega is v max, the value we calculated in part c, we find that the velocity at one second is minus 30.4 centimeters per second. The acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So for any time t, the acceleration is minus a omega squared cosine of the phase, and that's minus omega squared times the position. So the acceleration at one second is minus omega squared times the position at one second. And that works out to 21.6 centimeters per square second, or 0 0.216 meters per square second. The last thing we're asked to find is the force on the mass at one second. That's the spring force, minus kx. So we calculate minus the spring constant times the mass's position at one second, finding that the force is 0 0.325 newtons.